Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of What We Can Geek Them. Today we're going to be going over my figures and statues. I thought it'd be pretty cool to make a video on it. I made videos about the book collection, I've made videos about anime, movies, why not, figures, collectibles, statues, all that stuff. <music> You've probably seen most of the unboxings for everything, but it's nice to have a concise uh, video with everything in one place. Uh, I, I thought it'd be pretty cool. These books obviously don't fit in the Calyx shelf, so I have them here. And as you can see, I get pretty uh, bored and creative with my figures, so you have the OG Gundam fighting Godzilla, which is uh, one of my favorite matchups, I guess. And uh, here's a teeny baby, or tiny, tiny baby? What the hell do you call this thing? This is a beanie baby. Jesus Christ, how could I forget that name? A beanie baby of Baby Groot that was gifted to me. Here we have Char's Saku, my replica mother box, DC Comics. Here we have a Funko Pop about the robot geisha from the Ghost in the Shell live action movie. Not a great movie, but still, I love that design. I love robots in film, and I think that was one of the coolest things ever. I love that so much. Uh, here we have, I believe this was from Loot Anime. I bought it from eBay. I didn't actually subscribe to that service, but it is a night lamp that doesn't really work anymore, but it's uh, Astro Boy. You see all the mechanics inside and all that stuff, which I really love. The first of many statues in my collection, this is Tracer from Overwatch. I love Overwatch, one of my favorite video games on PlayStation 4. And even though she's not the main character I use, she's still one of my favorites in the lore. Uh, same with Mercy right here, which I did a video on. Actually, I did videos for both. She's also my favorite especially angelic characters. I love them very much. Really well sculpted detail, if I do say so. Uh, just fantastic figures from uh, Blizzard Entertainment. I think they hit it out of the park with that. This you've already seen is practically on um, every single video. I never did a proper unboxing of this bad boy, but it is the old school sideshow comic book Aquaman statue. And this thing is just, it was the biggest grail for a long time and I was so excited to get it and I proudly display it and uh, marvel at it because it's, it's amazing. Plus look at the detail on this face. I mean, Jesus, look at the barnacles and all that stuff. The wave effect right there. And of course how uh, regal and majestic my favorite DC superhero looks. That's awesome. I am missing, by the way, the bearded head sculpt and the exclusive uh, alternate hand with the harpoon. Um, I bought this when it was sold out, so I only got the basic uh, simple edition or whatever you call it. So if anybody has any idea how I can get my hands on that sculpt and alternate hand, uh, let me know in the comments section down below. Next up, my favorite action figures ever. These are the Mesco Hellboy figures. I love them so much. They capture the essence of Mike Miola's art perfectly, in my opinion. They just look really fantastic. Unfortunately, they're all super expensive online. I had to hunt endlessly for them, for every single one. As you can see, Hellboy's missing his uh, coat. The figure's a little dusty, so you'll excuse me on that. And of course, the VPRD crew in the back, looking pretty freaking fantastic. I love these so much. I'm only missing uh, Lobster Johnson and the villains, but I'm not really interested. I'm, I'm okay with just having uh, the main characters right here. And yeah, I love them, love them so much. Next up, I did a video on this. It is the DC designer Frank Cho statue of Wonder Woman. It's looking fantastic. I love Frank Cho's art. And I think this is pretty freaking badass. And what follows is my video game collection when it comes to figures and statues. Uh, this is Street Fighter V Chun-Li. I actually wanted the original Kotobukiya Chun-Li where she's throwing the kick with her classic costume, but that's really expensive and hard to find. So I had to settle with the uh, risque version of Chun-Li. So yeah, 
And this is actually one of my rarest things in my collection. It is the Mass Effect 3 Liara Tassoni Kotobukiya figurine statue. This thing is expensive online. I did not know that. I paid retail, maybe a little less than retail when I got it at my former local comic book shop. To see the prices skyrocket for this thing is insane and hilarious. I mean, it was only, I think I paid 60, 60 to 80 bucks, something like that. And, I'm, and I've seen sold listings for like 300 or something crazy. It's insane. Next up, I believe this is a Skyward Sword link from uh, First Board Figures. I might be mistaken, but this was one of their uh, the cheaper alternative products because you know they've got those big expensive statues and they sometimes release more affordable things. I remember this was going on clearance sale at GameStop so when I bought it it was probably for like 30 or 40 bucks something crazy like that. Here we have Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. This was part of the collector's edition for the PlayStation 4 game. Speaking of PlayStation, here we have Connor from Assassin's Creed 3. This was also bundled up when I got it for the PlayStation 3 back in the day. And a random uh, Big Bardo figure, because why not? Big Bardo is awesome, and I love this uh, DC designer in the style of Jack Kirby. Just magical. So on the shelves themselves, I just like to decorate it with uh, random Funko Pops, because I love Pops. Even though I don't have any space for them, I still enjoy them, and I still like looking at a all the uh, solicits. So here we have a couple of Hellboys. What else we got? Oh, here is that's Flashpoint Wonder Woman. Uh, thanks to my friend Josh for hooking me up with most of the Universal Monsters pops. These are my favorite out of all the pops, I think. Here we have Miss Marvel and Lockjaw. Here's a Aquaman by Jim Lee based on the New 52. Justice League run. Some anime pops. Anime pops are the best. They're so expressive and colorful and just great sculpting overall. Here, uh, here we have My Hair Academia. Do you remember when this Deku was extremely expensive and then they re-released it and it dropped down in price? Yeah, I remember. I should have sold it. <laughs> uh, here we have Black Bolt and Medusa, my favorite uh, combo uh, husband and wife from Marvel Comics. Uh, Mini mates, two mini mates. If you're wondering, I no longer collect uh, Marvel Legends, but here we have the Fantastic Four set from Walgreens, one of my favorite sets. Stuff like that. Okay, so here we have my Detolves. They're really reflective, as you can see. Okay, so I turned on the flash, so you don't see <laughs> too much of a reflection. Uh, here we have the Detolves. Sonic Mania statue, a couple of robots right here, and the statues themselves. I don't have a lot of bombshells, just these four. Here we have Stargirl, Cheetah, Hawkgirl, and of course, one of my favorite heroines in comics, Mira. Down below, we got a little bat section. We have uh, Batwoman, Kotobukiya, the Shoju, the DC designer, Joel Jones, Batgirl. Burnside, uh, David Finch, Black and White Batman, which is actually autographed. I met I met him in 2013, and he was kind enough to sign that base. Here is sort of a villains section: Blaze, DC Direct Catwoman, Kotobukiya Katana. If you haven't guessed, Kotobukiya is my favorite company for figurines and such. Uh, this is the Bishoju Horror line. Uh, this was gifted to me by a friend. So here we have the female Freddy Krueger version. And over here, we got a couple more random statues. Shazam, Black Adam, Zatanna, Black Widow, Magic. Uh, this is the Kizuna Relations statue combo from Jiraiya and Lady Tsunade from Naruto. And then down below, we got over here uh, this was the Injustice Gods Among Us statue that came with the PS3 game. You see the Super Best Friends Forever statues right there. There we go. This is a New 52 Batgirl bust and a Hawkgirl bust from Adam Hughes. 
And over here, I sort of made uh, Infinity Crusade, Infinity War, or Infinity Gauntlet type of thing with just cosmic superheroes fighting against Thanos. Here we have Thanos punching Iron Man in the face, because why not? As he should. Here we have some 10-inch pops. Horg, Gladiator Hulk, Baby Groot. Uh, some anime figures. Lelouch, Celti. You got Saber, Rimuru. And I'm trying to complete the set for the Konosuba Figma figures. So that is, in a nutshell, the figure collection. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I do have more figures and statues boxed up. I'd like to switch them out from time to time. I have limited space, so I find it interesting, uh, you know, having different display options and whatnot. But if you like this sort of video, hit the like button. Let me know if you liked a particular statue. Uh, and what are some of your favorites? I'm sure I'm gonna get asked this a lot, but grails when it comes to statues, uh, huh. there is the original Sideshow Wonder Woman statue, which I've always wanted, and I think I might get that sooner rather than later, but don't tell future me about that, just saying. Also, one of my grails would be the first four figures gaming statues. I found out about that company too late, and most of them are, most of their products, I should say, are out of print or out of stock and they're not coming back. And people obviously like to inflate the prices and resell them uh, for much higher than they're worth online, and it sucks. You know, stuff like the Wind Waker Link and the Samus Metroid statue. Those are two of my holy grails when it comes to statues. So I don't know. Uh, I keep looking and hopefully one day I'll find a sweet deal on them. But uh, yeah, <laughs> let's see what happens with that. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of a We Can Geek Them. It really does mean a whole lot to me. Thank you so very much. I have got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode. Thank you.